Hey everyone, Sarah Elizabeth LaHood here, and today we're talking about how to create segments in your list in MailChimp so that you can send specific emails to specific people on your list. Now, I'm gonna use the term segments. It's not exactly correct, because here's what happens. If you're using a different CRM, such as like ConvertKit or MailerLite or any, any other CRM you can think of, Infusionsoft, okay, what you basically can do is you can segment your list, okay, so split it into different segments that allow you to reach out to people who've signed up for certain things or who are interested in certain things. So for example, if you had a lead magnet for, you know, one of your programs and, you know, everyone who was interested in that particular program signed up via a specific sign up form, basically indicating they were interested in that particular lead magnet, you want to be able to send only those people that lead magnet and not just everyone on your list because everyone in your list is not interested. In MailChimp, it's a little less intuitive. So when you're doing it in a different CRM, it's a lot easier. You can kind of see the lines and they call them segments. And it's just very easy to make sure you're sending the right things to the right people. But in MailChimp, it's not always the easiest thing to do. And in fact, a lot of people think you can't do it in MailChimp, but that's just not true. You totally can and it's a free feature. So woohoo, that's amazing, right? So I'm going to show you how to do it. Again, it's not segmenting exactly. What we're going to do actually is add a little bit extra information to each person's sign up so that we're able to tell what things they're interested in. So the same way you learn what someone's email address is and their name and their birthday, if that's what you ask, I don't know. You store all that information and that's very important to have. We're going to add in a little bit extra information, which means we'll know who signed up via which sign up forms, i.e. what they're actually wanting to get from you. Okay. So we're going to use a feature called merge tag. So I'm here in a pretend list. Okay. So if you're actually in MailChimp, you'll have hopefully contacts here. Okay. Again, I'm not sharing uh, my personal clients and readers email addresses, but we're going to use this as a test list today. Okay. So you're looking at your list. Okay. There's millions of names here because you're so popular. Okay. And you have this little thing at the top. So we're actually going to go to settings and we're going to click list fields and merge tags. Again, it's gonna seem a little strange, but just trust me for a second. So you can see so far what I'm asking from my readers when they sign up. I'm asking for their email and I'm asking for their first and last name. And I can choose whether those elements are required or not. And you can see over here we have merge tags and then default merge tag value. So if you've ever sent a campaign in MailChimp, you know that merge tag is actually what you can put in to call up this information. So say I sent out an email and I wanted it to say, hi, first name i.e. like, hi, Sarah Elizabeth, okay? Basically what I would do in my campaign is I would type hi and then this merge tag. So asterisk, uh, straight slash or whatever, first name, straight slash, asterisk, okay? And so I also said asterisk, excuse me. Um, but anyway, so if I entered that, that means that when the email actually goes out, it's going to populate each individual first name that I had from that main list. Okay, so that's how you can kind of customize your stuff. So we're going to do the same thing here, but we're going to do it with a different one. So we're going to add a field and make it a text field. And we're going to make it not visible. Okay, so I don't want people to be able to change this value. I want to control it, and you'll see why in a second. So let's say it's for my lead magnet. So lead magnet is what I want to call it. Okay, and again, I don't want it to be required or visible. And you don't necessarily need to change this merge tag. It's not really that important. Um, we can call it lead mag if we want. Okay, but we want to make the default merge tag value no. Okay, now what that means is that when someone signs up to my list from just any old sign up form, this value is going to be no. What that means is no, they're not interested in the lead magnet because they're not signing up from the specific form where that lead magnet is being advertised. However, on the sign up form where you are advertising your lead magnet, okay, so you might have multiple sign up forms, right? You might have some for just your newsletter, and then you might have some where you're offering a specific lead magnet. On those forms, we're going to change the value to yes, which means that we'll now have a way to distinguish, i.e., yes and no, between those people on our list who want to receive a certain lead magnet and those on our list who do not want to receive that specific lead magnet. If you want to go ahead and put this into automation, what you can do when you set up your automation is set up the trigger so that when a list tag value changes to yes, 
you send that automated email. And in that automated email, you might have the lead magnet or more information about it. Again, this is a little bit counterintuitive, but this is how you can segment. Again, we're using that words in bunny ears. <laughs> segment your list so that you're making sure you're delivering the stuff that people are interested in to only the people who are interested. If I go back to my main list, not everyone is going to have the value yes for that lead magnet. The people who signed up before that value even existed won't have it. The people who signed up from sign up forms that did not have this as going to yes means that they won't have it. It means that only people who are interested for that lead magnet, I can make sure I know that they're interested and I can send it straight to them. So again, I hope this was very helpful. I know that this is a such, such a confusing topic. So if you have any questions, go ahead and comment on the video below or shoot me an email at hi at sarahelizabethlehood.com. I would love to hear what you thought of this and if you have any more questions so I can make you more videos. See you soon. Mwah.